afternoon baseball here on the show. Ought to be a good one here between the Seattle Mariners and the New York Yankees. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Garrett Cole, the California-born right-hander, is on the mound. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, Matty D, we're getting a chance to watch a guy that's been struggling a little bit lately. In his last three starts, he has a whip of over 1.40. So he's going to have to cut that down, limit the amount of base runners, limit the amount of walks if he wants to have some success in this one here today. Stepping up to the, the plate, D. Gordon. Seattle. And we are ready for some baseball. daytime baseball. D. Gordon. First pitch coming. Here it is. Well behind that fastball. It's a swinging strike. Well, this Yankee ball club entering play this afternoon here. They've been hot of late. Winners in four straight. Yeah, Maddie, this team is playing well right First now. Pitch. And they got their well ace on the mound. This guy has unbelievable stuff. And, and I can't underestimate the fact that this is a day game. We are creatures of habit. Guys are used to playing 7 o'clock games at night and rolling out of bed around 12, 1 o'clock and heading to the yard. Instead, they're going to get stuff thrown down their throat right at that time. I hope these guys got out of bed and got a few cups of coffee in them. Shooting for that low inside corner, but he missed with it. One and two. Still a ball and two strikes. Can't complain a bit about the weather here. 75 degrees our temperature at first pitch. To two balls and two strikes now. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there. Really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off. He's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. And a fastball is swung on and missed, and there is your first out of the contest. Boy, that's the best pitch in baseball right there with two that strikes, that elevated fastball. Hitter. Every hitter thinks that, Malik. hey, they can do something with that, yeah. but most of the time, you get the result that you saw right there, a big swing and a miss, and another strikeout. Malik Smith, the next to hit. As he takes a cold strike on the black, it's 0-1. His career line against Garrett Cole. He's really struggled 0 for 10. And he falls behind 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. On a swing and he popped him up. Off to the left in foul territory. And Duhar is over and he tucks it away for the Patty second Kirk, out. The right fielder, Mitch Hanniger. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up next, the corner outfielder, Mitch Hanniger. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Hey! Let's get it going, boys. Somebody's loose, hitting 98 with ease in the first inning. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hung the slider there, but laid off for ball one. And set up behind the plate is Joe McDonald, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew in this one. Hey, Joe McDonald, he's a tough guy to figure out sometimes, d -Row. One inning, he'll be given that inside corner. The next inning, he doesn't give much of that inside corner. His zone fluctuates a lot. You know, Dan, you can see some definite confusion on the face of some hitters today. Question in the strike zone. One pitch is a strike on the outer hand. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Mariners are down in order, and now the Bombers will get their shot. No score. You say Kikuchi is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Mariners. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. 
Now to the plate, DJ LeMay here as we take Yankees. a look at the splits between the April and May. DJ LeMayhew. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And it's the outside corner. It's strike one. one. Fellas, the Mariners entering play here this afternoon. They suffered a bit of a setback last time out, but not to worry. They're still six and two over their previous eight ball games. Yeah, Maddie, they lost their last game. It was only by one run. They should be able, those are the tough ones, but they should be able to put this one behind them. Grounded down the third baseline. High in the air down the right field line. And foul. One and two to DJ LeMayhew. Hey, textbook waste pitch right there. Does he go elevated fastball again or something slow below the zone? The one two. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Long run for the center fielder, but he won't have a play. This is down and into the gap. And the Yankees are in business here. It's a leadoff double. He just tattoos that this ball second. right here. No, Tried to sneak play. a fastball in on him. No way. I'm Drives it to hard. deep left center field gap, and that was a nice job to get the barrel around in time to score that baby up. Here's Miguel Andujar now. Okay, so wait out a breaking pitch here that finds the zone for strike one. The numbers coming in. He's at 255. Five homers and 22 RBIs. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Ball, that, that, that. Mayhew stands at second with no outs. Right down Main Street caught him looking. Just flat out froze him there. Nothing too deceptive about that four seam fastball. That so I think he wasn't the expecting right it at all. Aaron. John. Here's big Aaron Judge. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. And you see the numbers there. He's been very dangerous at the plate, to say the least. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. Foul. One one home grounder down the line at third but this will get foul it's a ball and two strikes the one two misses for the second ball here now the two two is looked at and the count moves full. You would think in this situation, maybe with a base open, he'd just pitch around him and put him on first. But not with the guy in the on-deck circle. He's going to attack this hitter. Fly ball out toward left center field. Long run for the center fielder. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Batting fourth. The left fielder. Giancarlo. Stanton. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. A couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone.
this is foul right side. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. And a good eye as he lays off and the count moves to two and one now on the Yankee left fielder. And he fouls this one off. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. Curveball locks him up, strike three, and that's the third out. One left for the Yankees, and this is still a nothing, nothing ball game. Dan Vogelbach is next. He's looking to get things going at the plate. It has not been going his way of late. Vogelbach. Here comes the first pitch. Count one and oh. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. Everything this guy throws is hard. That changeup he throws is in the high 80s to go along with that good heater. Into the corner and slicing foul. And they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. He's just got great strikeout stuff. In his last start, he That's racked good. up double-digit Ks, and it looks like he could Carlos. finish up in that range good again ball. here. He's really an exciting pitcher to watch when he's sending guys packing like this. Here's Cargo, Carlos Gonzalez. As he will look at a first-pitch fastball for ball one. He'll enter play at 313. Still without a home run, 18 driven in. A 2 0 count to the Mariners left fielder. Hey, you want to talk about being in a zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher just go ahead and challenge him. Fouled off. No score here as we play inning number two. And it's two balls and two strikes now. You know, from an offensive standpoint, they already knew they had their work cut out for him against a great pitcher. But if he's going to locate like that, this is going to be a tough day. Popped him up. And he'll put this one away in foul territory for the second out. That is it. The third baseman, Kyle Seeger. Here's the third baseman now, Kyle Seeger, hitting a little over 250 coming into action in this one. The pitch. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. You rarely see a pitcher of this quality throw one right down the middle, and man, as a hitter, probably a good chance you're not going to see that pitch again. Here it comes. Ball and that misses downstairs for a ball, one, one and one. one, and one. hit to first and board will take this one over to the bag and that ends the inning one two three go the Mariners we'll go to the bottom of the second no score and that'll bring up Glaber Torres as they'll have five six and seven here to start the home half of the second labor Torres. 
He's ready. Here's the first offering. Oh, that's off. Torres tends to exploit left-handed pitching. Many hitters are better against opposite-handed arms, of course, but he's considered one of the best hitters in baseball in these types of matchups. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. And that's out number one. Batting six, the catcher, Gary Sanchez. So one away here with the bases empty, and that'll bring up Gary Sanchez. Now here's the pitch. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. And the pitch. Hey. Bottom of the second here with no score. And it's fouled away. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. The one-two. This is on the ground over to first. He's got it. On to first, and there were two down. Batting seven. The designated hitter, number 29. Striding in, Gio Urshela. He's got that average up near the 340 mark to start play, so he's liable to have an impact in this one as well. First pitch of the at bat. To first, reined in. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Bombers. We'll move to the third with no score. Welcome back to the Bronx, where these fans have witnessed a lot of good pitching from their Yankees this season. Coming into the day, they ranked first in the league in both ERA and strikeouts, a combination that has opposing lineups searching for answers. One member of the staff told me, it's a special group of guys. I've never been on a pitching staff that's so dominant top to bottom, and I've been on some pretty good ones. Now, one of the hitters on the team told me, I'm relieved I get to stand behind them and play defense instead of staring them down in the box. That can't be fun. Matt, back fielder. to you. Don All right, Heidi, thank you. Thompson William. Now here's the pitch. And he'll start I'm the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball one. And he looks at a changeup in there, one and one. And the pitch. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel of that one. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Not a lot of guys throw that knuckle curve, but some guys have a lot of success with it. Some say it has more bite than the traditional curveball, but I think it's more of a field thing. It just works for certain pitchers, and it worked right there. And that'll bring in Tom Murphy. As the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. Bases are empty, one man out. Lays oh, off the slider and it's one and one. Going to need to make a little bit of an adjustment with a slider release and at least tempt a hitter that it's going to be a strike. A ball and two strikes to the Mariners catcher. Well located fastball right there. If he can continue to do that, he'll pitch deep into this one. The one two. Nope. 
Third inning, no score to this point. Full count now, three and two. J.P. Crawford is on deck. Now the payoff pitch home. Hit back up the middle. LeMayhew's got it. And there are two away now. Batting nine. The shortstop. J.P. Flopper. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that brings up the shortstop, J.P. Crawford. Here's the first pitch to him. Knuckle curve breaks outside for ball one. Two out, nobody on. A ball and a strike. And that one got a piece of him. That ball got right there. And I'm sure that one stings a little bit. The best revenge he can get for his pain is to find a way to come around to score. We'll see if his guys can move him around the bases back to the top of the order now and up next the speedy D Gordon he's set and the pitch ball one no strike a runner on first with two away Runs outside, so it goes to 2 0 now. You can see this guy's more focused at the plate right now. In that first AB, he went down on strikes. Now the 2 0. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So they pick up no runs on no hits, no errors, and one man left on. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three, and we are tied nothing-nothing. Now at the plate, Luke Voigt. And you can see his home road splits there. He has not fared very well in front of the home crowd, oddly enough. Here's the pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Center fielder on the run. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Batting nine. So with one away, the time for a fielder. check of the standings in the Mark. American League West as you Top find man. where the Mariners find themselves entering play today. Next for New York, Mike Talkman. And he'll be looking to change his fortunes in this one. He's seen his numbers take a bit of a dive in recent action. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Right back at him and off his glove. Thankfully, he's able to recover and he gets the second out at first. And with that play oh, over now, game. time to check and see if the our man is all right. You can really see him favoring that leg. And that is his plant leg, which is always a concern. But from the way he's acting out there, I think it looks like he's going to be okay to try and continue. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. And that's been their only hit so far in this one. They've been dealing with some really great pitching in this game. And a fastball misses here to start the at bat. It's one and zero. Oh. 
ball that Just time. a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. Hey, always a good idea to take a couple of pitches when you're facing a young arm like this one. And now he's put himself in a real good hitter's count. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. Outside, 3-0 and oh now. So that's two pitches in a row above the belt. As a hitter, that's what you're looking for, especially when it's a day game and the ball is carried. That just wasn't a good enough pitch to hit. From the windup, the 3-0 pitch. Line down the left field line. But this is going to get foul. Bases are empty here with two men out. And this is down at the knees, but called a strike. Wow, it's three and two now. Probably better that he let that pitch go anyway. After seeing a lively fastball on the pitch before, it's pretty hard to sit back enough on a well-thrown changeup. Hit the other way out toward right field. Waiting on it is Henniger, and that retires the side. So the Yanks go one, two, three. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. Stepping into the box, Malik Smith, as we begin the top the of the fourth. This so game is rolling good. right along as we Malik. move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. Fouled away. And here's a fastball on 0-2, but it misses 1-2 and two now. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? Oh, you have to love it. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12-10 and 9-8. It's nice to see a low-scoring pitcher's duel for once. The count now at 2-2. Two and two. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Opportunity now to take a look at now some of the future it. players right. in the Yankee organization as our Road to the Show report spotlights a couple of guys that have been playing well in recent action. Stepping in now is Mitch Hanniger. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. In tight. Awfully tight. 2 0 oh now. Pretty easy takes to start out this at bat. None of those pitches were even close to the strike zone. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. The 2 1 home. And now a slider in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone now. No better way to minimize the potential damage a cleanup now hitter can do the than to strike out both guys in front of him. Always a confidence boost when you can sit down the guys at the top of the lineup. At the plate now, Daniel Vogelback. As with two away, he'll swing and miss at the first pitch. It's 0-1. This guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column. He pulls this one into right. It's down for extra bases, and the Mariners have their first hit of the game. He'll get it into second, and he is safe at second base as he legs out a double. The batter, 
That was a great job of driving that ball, extending his arms very well, was able to get it over the right fielder's head, one hopping it off the wall for an easy double. That's one of those solid hits that you don't even feel coming off the bat. Into the box, Carlos Gonzalez. And there's a swing and a miss at an off-speed pitch to start him out. Nothing in one. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. Now a 58-foot curveball that misses for a ball. Gonzalez, commonly known as Cargo. This is the final year of his current deal, so he'll be a free agent at season's end. You know, Matty, I know he's in the final year of his contract, but he's playing to expectations, to be honest with you. I know he needs... Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Danger averted following the two-out double. More of the show, Saturday Baseball, after this. Ready to go for the last half of the Here inning, and that will bring up game Miguel Andujar. 0 for 1 baseman. after he took a look Big at strike Jeff. 3 in his first plate I'm appearance. Duhar. Yeah, in today's game, certainly don't get completely reprimanded for too many strikeouts, but no one likes to go down looking. Expect him to be a little bit more aggressive at the dish this A.B. Slap hard the opposite way. Henniger is there, one away. Jumped all over that first don't pitch like of the inning, and he didn't not. miss it just wasn't Aaron. able to steer it in a direction yeah. that resulted in a leadoff hit. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. First offering on its way. And here's a fastball called for strike one. I know it's cliche and it's tired at times, but a well-located fastball down at the knees is still the best pitch in the game. The windup and the 0-1. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. Inside and low, two and one. Two ball, one strike, the count. Now here's the pitch. And here's a ball in the air now, carrying a bit out toward right center. Henniger is over to his right as he puts this one away, two down. Now batting, the left fielder, John Carlo. Coming to the plate now, Giancarlo Stanton. First pitch on its way. And he fouls this one off. And a pitch one in the dirt ball, as he lays off. It's one and one. Well struck but foul over by the coaching box. Well somebody's sitting off speed right here. Only way he was laid on that heater is he was expecting another changeup. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Bombers. Through four, still tied, nothing, nothing. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Mariners manager Scott Service during the break about his team's offensive performance so far. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. He said they've been chasing at pitches out of the zone all game, which obviously doesn't usually lead to good results. Until they start being more selective with their swings, he said they will continue to struggle. Okay, thank you, Heidi. 
All set for the start of the inning. Next for Seattle, Kyle Seeger. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Ball. Ball one, no strike. Now the 1 0. Back up the middle. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. We take a look at the numbers now up to this point. You see he's only given up two hits so Don far today, so he's Tom been hitting his spots all game long. Remains to be seen if he can keep that shutout intact going forward, but I'm not betting against him. Into the box now, Dom Thompson-Williams. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Thompson-Williams... Stands in at an even six feet, throws left-handed, swings the bat the same way. He was a fifth-round pick back in the 2016 first-year player draft. Hey, this middle-round selection is still developing, but he's doing it at the big league level, and he has a lot of time to get his tool set ironed out. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. Tom Murphy is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. One strike now from Cole. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. And he struck him out. And that's eight strikeouts thus far. That's back-to-back -back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that leadoff single into scoring position. Yeah, clearly no problems working out of the stretch right now, Matt. He's taking control this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. And that'll bring in J.P. Crawford. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. The average sits at 294. Four home runs and a dozen RBIs. Has a look. Now the pitch. Well. No runs, two hits, and no errors in the game for the Mariners to this point. Gets the call on the changeup there. Two and one. Two ball. Gutsy one. pitch right there. 2 0 -oh changeup for a strike. Good call by the catcher. Great execution by the pitcher. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. Three and two now. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Fouled off. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Mariners leave one. Halfway home, still no score. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far, and he told me overall he's not happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've only managed one base runner in this game, so it's easy to see why he said they haven't shown much fight today. He's hoping to see someone step up and find a way to get something going, though. This game isn't out of hand, so it remains to be seen if they can snap out of this funk and climb back into this one. 
Thank you, Heidi. Leading off for the Yankees. Stepping in, the Torres. Top. He's 0 for 1 Wait, thus far. Torres. Outfield shaded a bit to left center. The first pitch sends that one out of play for strike one. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0 and 2. Yankee shortstop behind in the count one and two. Misses ball two. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. Here's the 3 2. Swing and a miss, and he'll start the fifth the same way he ended the fourth with a punch out, one away. That swing tells me he was really trying to get the a bat. pitch out front and rip the it down Kendrick. the line, but that Gary. wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's Kendrick. really not the best two strike approach either. At the plate, Gary Sanchez. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. The 1 0. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Boom goes the dynamite. It's a solo shot here for Gary Sanchez. Number 14 on the season as the Yankees will grab a one to nothing lead. No surprise with that swing of the bat. This guy is simply one of the best in the game right now. There's not too many guys that take a beautiful hack like that in the league. Now batting. Number 20. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. Fastball called for strike two. Ball and two strikes now. That's a great take right there. Great pitch recognition to let that one go. Opposite handed, that's coming across the plate. You might think you got a shot to stay inside that one. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. To two balls and two strikes now. He went with the off speed there once he got him to 0-2, but now that they both missed, I think we'll see more of a challenge pitch here. You don't have to give in, but you can't be too cute either. Takes this the other way to right. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Man, I thought this at bat was over. Down 0 2. He's able now to bad. work himself First back base. into a hitter's oh. count 2 2, and he's able oh. to find a knockout there. Stepping in now, Luke Voigt. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. That evens it up, one and one.
Fastball called strike one and two. Swing and a miss on the changeup and there are two gone. Boy, there's the perfect pitch right there. The straight changeup. He hadn't used it yet now in this at bat. And what does Center he do? Fielder. He uses it, Mike. pulls the string, and gets Not the big bad. strikeout. To the plate now, Mike Talkman. As he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Out, one and one. That's two and one. Two. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. Now the two one. Popped up. Vogelback shading to his right and that retires the side the sights and sounds of a day at the ballpark oh my goodness more from the show Saturday baseball following this message and a word from our local stations and here's the speedster D Gordon he'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one yeah only two hits so far Matt and not very many hard hit balls either we'll see if they could start making some adjustments third baseman in tight protecting the bunt the first pitch and the third baseman will have a look at it, but this is back into the seats. Popped him up. Sanchez over to his left, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. So the shutout still intact here in the sixth as we check out the league leaderboard for Team ERA. And you can see that this staff currently leads the AL in that category. Digging in now for the Mariners, Malik Smith. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. And one here's up. a slider that's nowhere close, and it's 1-0. and oh. Pops this one up. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. Boy, this guy's been swinging a hot stick lately, and there's just another example. Oh, and even when he doesn't hit one on the barrel, he still manages another base hit. Yeah, don't overthink it. When you're flowing like he is right now, he's hot as a pistol. Everything's falling. Mitch Hanniger the next to bat. Mitch is a cold strike. The throw way late, and he's in there easily at second. Pickoff move to second. Runner back safely. One strike now from Cole. Heading out towards shallow right. Judges under it. Two gone. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. Now batter. The first baseman. Daniel Vogelback. So stepping in, Daniel Vogelback, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery.
One ball, one strike. Now a look and a throw back to second. And the runner back safely. One and one. Here it is. One one pitch and a nice call for the change. It's one and two. Both clubs with three hits in the ball game. Just inside. Not by much. It's two and two. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. One left for Seattle. They trail this one, one to nothing. And that sends D.J. LeMahieu into the box. He, he doubled well, earlier in the game, one for the two to this point. D.J. LeMahieu. Here's the first pitch to him. Line drive to left. And a base hit, so he goes after the first pitch he sees, and he's on to open up the inning. Okay, so far it's been easy pickings for this pitcher. He's gone now through this lineup Third almost base. unscathed. But right there, leadoff single, middle part of the game. Let's see if he makes an adjustment before they do. At the plate now, Miguel Andujar, as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. Not close. It's 2 and 0. Now this is the kind of count this guy feeds on at the plate. You can bet he's geared to hit the fastball right here. And wow, that looked to be well inside, but it's a called strike. 2 and 1 now. And that's into the corner, a foul ball in right. Here now the 2-2. Full count. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. One run, four hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. And that misses for ball four. And it's first and second now with nobody out. Always tough to issue a free pass, but especially troublesome when you give up a single right before that to start the inning. We'll see if he can figure out a way to wiggle out of this. Ready once again, Aaron Judge. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Nope. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard, this A.B. Well, the Yankees have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to see if they can get it, but now it sure would be a good time. Look out. 2-0 now. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss over the heart of the plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. In there, two and one. That is a pro pitch right there. Two old curveball for a strike. You make those kind of pitches, you'll be around for a long time. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Thompson Williams is there, and he has it for the first out. And he'll indeed move up 90 feet, putting runners at the corners now with one away. Good read there at second base to know he can make it to third. 
on the fly out. Now he's only 90 Good feet turn. away with one out. Ready for another shot now, Giancarlo Stanton. He was sent packing on strikes in his last trip. Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. And reach to his backhand side at second, but this finds a way by. And that'll score the run from third as they go up two to nothing now. And he's safe. Now that yeah, Dan, he's got to feel pretty good about Lane that. Burrow. Not only did he have a great A-B first pitch hacking, but he smoked that ball to mix in a ribby knock. Boy, he did. He must have had a pretty good plan of attack walking into that batter's box, and he had an idea of the pitch that he was going to get, and boy, he sure turned it loose and buggy whipped that one. Here comes the Seattle skipper on his way to the mound, and we're going to have a pitching change as that's going to be off for his starter this afternoon. So he'll depart after five and a third innings of work and with no Your shot to win clear. the decision. Taylor now, Williams enters the ball game to replace Number the starter, and some may feel he Taylor. was pulled a bit prematurely. Yeah, and I'm sure the lefty wants to stay out there, too. But this is one of those situations where the manager felt it was time to start playing the matchup game. With the right-handed batter up next, they're hoping this right-handed pitcher gives them a better chance to get an out. Into the box, Torres. Yep. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Ready with the 1 0. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2 0. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Runners are at the corners with one man out. And here's a slider for a cold strike. A line shot to third base. Now batting. The catcher. Gary. Sanchez. Gary Sanchez will stand in yet again as we flash you back to the middle innings. This was a turning point here, a solo home run that was really one of the key at bats of the ball game to this point. Here's the first pitch to him. And he'll lay off a fastball here in a good spot, but rule the ball 1 0. From the belt, kicks and deals. Fastball well outside. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Runners at the corners, two men out. Three and O oh now. And a good comeback there. It's three and one. Three and one with two on, and this is where you, you got to be geared up for something to drive. I don't think you can just groove in one right here. You still have to try to make a competitive pitch. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. 3-2, two, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Grounded weakly toward third. He's right there. And oh, the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he'll reach it first. Now batter. And as a former Number pitcher, 29. I can tell you, nothing is more painful than having to get extra outs in an inning. That should have been out number three there. Instead, he has to refocus and get back to work. So digging in now, Gio Urshela. He singled his last time up. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. Thompson Williams is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. 
fair to say? Oh, my goodness. Uh, these folks are not headed for a career on Broadway. On to the back third here this afternoon, and we've got it for you on the show. Ready now, Carlos Gonzalez. He'll lead things off against Garrett Cole. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. No balls in one strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Tuckman is to his left as he puts it away in the alley for the first out of the inning. Now batting the third baseman, Kyle Seeger. Coming to the plate now, Kyle Seeger, one for two in the ball game thus far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Snatched out of midair at first base for out number two. The batter. The center fielder, Dom Thompson Williams. In now, Dom Thompson Williams. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Ball. Double barreled action in the Yankee bullpen now. A lefty and a right hander start to get loose. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. That one's a called strike. Back even at one. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now couple strikeouts early in the game but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitters count line down the left field line but this is foul near the seats and yet another strikeout here his 11th of the ball game and this one ends the inning the Mariners are down in order. They trail in this one, three nothing. Last half of the seventh here. Stepping into the box, the Luke Voigt. He struck the out swinging baseman. in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Maddie. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. Hey. Taken, but called a strike. Try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Jeez, I mean, that fastball was way behind now him batting. when the swing Center came fielder. through the zone. I have to Mark. think he was looking for something off Not speed, bad. and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. Standing in now, Mike Talkman. As the first hey. pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And it 
Hawks one and two. One and two. Pulled toward right center field. Long run for the center fielder. He takes the turn and heads for second. And that will hop over the wall now as he'll be awarded second now, base here. It's a ground base. rule double. DJ Ravahue. So now to the plate, DJ LeMayhew, as he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0 and 1. So far, two for three in this one. This is line to left. He leaps, but he can't get it. It's down for extra bases. Tuckman rounds the corner and is headed home. And this throw gets away from him. And he is in to score from second as the throwing mistake defensively it. came back to factor into that one. When it left the bat, I'm I thought the outfielder had a beat on it. Gave it a heck of an effort going high for it, but he just can't bring it down. The run came across the score, and he's safely at second, hoping his teammates can return the favor. At the plate, Miguel Andujar. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. No hits to this point. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Runner at second here with one man out. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Popped him up. And there's the second out as he squeezes it in the coach's box. The right fielder, number 99. Aaron Judge. Into the box now. Aaron Judge. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. Here's the first pitch to him. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Got to believe you're going to get some tough pitches in this count with the base open at first. This is where you have to regroup and find a way to get a good pitch to drive in that run. Two out here and a runner at second. And a slider swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Yankees strike for a run on the RBI double. We're through seven this afternoon. It's now a 4 nothing New York lead. Striding into the box, Tom Murphy. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matt. He got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. On to the eighth here as a slider is taken to begin the at-bat. It's ball one. And wow, a very high strike, but a strike nonetheless, and it's one and one. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Now the one and one pitch. That's ball two. A swing and a miss there, two and two. 
I mean, this offense has struggled because they haven't been able to make the adjustment. He stayed staunch on the outer half, and these guys have not worked the ball the other way. Three and two now. Now the payoff pitch home. He is taken high, but for a called strike three. I think we're starting to see the frustration mount from this offense. It's been a pretty dominant performance on the mound, and these hitters have had no answer for anything he's throwing up there. That will wear on you if it lasts throughout most of the game, like it has here. To the plate now, J.P. Crawford. As he'll take a look at a strike on the outside corner, it's 0-1. He was sat down on strikes in his last at-bat. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. That's lifted the other way out to left. Stanton has a read on it. And he makes the catch for the second out. Now batting. The second baseman. D. Gordon. Here's D. Gordon now. Fourth trip to the plate now, and he's hitless to this point. Yeah, he and his teammates have really been shut down by some very good pitching in this one. Been fun for a guy like me to watch. First pitch of the at-bat. Runs up and gets this one down. But this is foul for the first strike. The wind up and the 0 1. Drops one down here and he'll try to beat it out. And they're not going to have a play on him as the catcher just eats it. As we take now a look at his numbers, a couple of things hit. jump out at you. And here's the thing from a pitcher's yeah. perspective. You look at this line and you think, wow, he's been sitting guys down all game long, and that's true. But on the flip side, his pitch count is up there. You have to wonder if he might be starting to get a little bit tired in this one. Yeah, and in today's game, everyone seems to want to err on the side of caution in terms of pitch counts. A ball and no strikes. That'll be a souvenir, and the count will move to one and one. From the stretch. And Ball did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. And this one's in the dirt. No advance here, but it's three and one now. Two out with the man at first. Now a throw over. Don't want to forget about it. Looking to fade his first walk. Here it comes. Here's the two seam fastball that bears in a bit too tight. It's ball four. Oh, man, I think this walk is going to grind at him for now a bit. Batter. He just Wait, missed, and now Nick. the inning continues with the man in scoring position. At the plate, Mitch Henniger. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Skied into straightaway right. Judges under it the catch and that'll retire the side Mariners leave a couple they're down four nothing you're Matt McGill please. is on to pitch now out of the bullpen in the bottom one. half of the eighth number 61 Matt McGill Bottom of inning number eight set to go. Now batting, Giancarlo Stanton. He came through with an RBI no single fielder. in his last at-bat. Giancarlo. Down Starts him out with a fastball too low for ball one. Two balls and no strikes. The count to Stanton. 
Well, this is a spot you'd like to be in. 2-0, good hitter. He's going to turn it loose right here. Now the pitch. Ball three. Torres is on deck. And no doubt about this one. It's in there three and one. Stealing that strike on 3 0 was important, but you don't want to miss over the heart of the plate in this situation. I got to believe he's going to be way more aggressive right here. And a great location that time on the corner, 3 and 2 now. Now the payoff pitch home. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. But it bends just foul into the second deck. Once again a 3-2. Hit sharply on the ground. And Stanton's aboard. It's a base hit. Hey guys, this, he's not known for being a singles hitter right here, but that's his second the knock of the game. That's and I'm shot. sure he'll take him, but Way the guys burn. on the other side of the scorecard might Go be thinking man. we really avoided a worse fate. Into the box now, Torres. And he'll promptly send it in the air out to center field. Thompson Williams will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Now batting, catcher, Gary Sanchez. Digging in now for the Yankees, Gary Sanchez. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. A swing and a ground ball to third. And now he has some trouble with it in left. And he'll move up to third now. Runners at the corners here with one away. Now back. He got the pitch he wanted. And he didn't miss it right there. Hammer job. Into the box, Gio Urshela. As he'll take a look at ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. The 1 0 is laid off for ball two. Props to the hitter right there for laying off with a guy on third. You want to be aggressive, but you have to get a pitch you can drive. Too tight with that one. Three and oh. If he concedes the walk here, he's in real trouble of giving up a big inning. It's not all that bad yet, but dealing with the bases loaded will make it pretty tough to wiggle out of. And he'll just make him throw one over here. Three and one. Three balls and two strikes to the Yankees DH. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. These guys on defense are still within striking distance. But after that walk, one swing of the bat could really blow this thing wide open. Into the box, Luke Voigt. And with every base occupied, a big hit here could really put this one out of reach. First pitch of the at bat on its way. So far this season, with runners in scoring position, Voigt is below the Mendoza line. The batting average under 200, unfortunately. He'd be the first to tell you he's not happy with the batting average on the season, but he's found a way to get on base north of 350, working walks with an unbelievable eye at the dish. No contact there, and it's one and two. The way he's been able to command his fastball, those first two pitches, 
don't be shocked if he goes back in there again or goes up under his chin or nasty slider down and away. He has opened up his full arsenal. Well, too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. Here now the 2-2. He is swung on and missed strike three. Now batting. Better Digging fielder. in and looking for more, right. Mike Talkman. He hit a two-bagger and later scored in his previous plate appearance. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once in A-B, maybe once nope. a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. The 1-0. Finds the zone, strike one. This is lined into left field, and he delivers a big base hit. And they'll add another as this is now a 5-0 game. Boy, talking about up picking your teammate game. up after that strikeout, d -roll. Big, big, yeah. and I mean big, two-hard RBI oh, single. Hey, yeah, dude. way to come through for your team. When you take the donut off your bat right there, you're Ladies trying to pick up your teammate. He had the right three. game plan, didn't come now, outside it, four, stayed yeah. through the baseball, was Number able to 65. come through. Brendan Brennan answers the call to pitch here in a big spot. He inherits a bases loaded jam, but needs just one out to get out of it. Trying to pick things up where he left off. DJ LeMayhew. He hits here in a spot where he might be able to put this one out of reach. Yeah, Matt. Down five. Another run across here could very well put the nail in the coffin. Mentally, they might still feel like they've got a shot if they could get out of this jam, though. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And this is on the ground for JP at short. And how about that right out of the bullpen? A ground ball on one pitch, and the inning is over. Yankees forced to settle for one. We played eight full. It's the Yankees five, and the Mariners nothing. New inning set to get underway. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Daniel Vogelback. Daniel Vogelback. Here's the first pitch to him. Loud contact there, but it's well foul. The wind up and the 0 1. Nope. And this is high, a ball and a strike. One and one. Man, this guy's had their number all game long. Up, down, in and out. He's pitching very well. Vogelbach behind the ball in two strikes. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right-hander starts to loosen up. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. A lot of pitches away here, which is pretty much what you're forced to do with lefty batters here at Yankee Stadium. It doesn't take much to hook one out of here to right field with that short porch out there. Here now the 2-2. He is swung on and missed. He got him. Oh, man, he's been absolutely getting overmatched at the plate the last couple of games. Bad, That's his fifth strikeout in this series Harlow. alone. Good so development. clearly this pitching staff, they figured out how to attack this guy. We'll see if he can make any adjustments. At the plate now, Carlos Gonzalez. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Now the 1 0. Is a sinker in the dirt. Well, he's thrown a lot of pitches in this one, but it's not like he's walking a bunch of guys. Only one free pass to this point, but they're still making him work really hard. Two.
two balls and a strike to Carlos Gonzalez. Even though we're late into this ball game, this guy's deal is still top notch. This guy's a horse. One out, nobody on. Count even at two and two. Set to deliver pitch number 120. This one sinks low and a touch outside. It's a full count, three and two. One of the things you want to do with a starter, get that pitch count up. Here's another productive at bat as this count now gets to three balls and two strikes. This is hit the other way out toward left field. And that gets down, and we'll see if that's extra bases. And he'll reach second now with one away. Obviously, as a pitcher, he wants to finish what he started. But when you have that pitch count north of 115 pitches, you have to be concerned about his health and the wear and tear on his arm. Might have to take him out of this one really soon. Standing in now, Kyle Seeger. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Two and zero. Oh. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. And that'll put him on the board as it's now a 5-1 ball game. He was on cruise control now the back. entire game, but he gets brought back to reality Dog. here. An RBI Dog double the gets them on the board, and now that they've broken the dam, we'll see if they can generate some more runs going forward. Here comes the Yankee manager now up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And it appears that we've seen the last here in this one of Garrett Cole. So a strong performance here as he worked his way into the ninth, but it let the bullpen try and close with the final two outs. You're ben Heller Hitler, answers the call from the dugout as he'll try to record the final two outs of this one. Number 61, Ben Heller. At the plate, Dom Thompson Williams as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball one and zero. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. One zero count. Here it is. At the ball. You know, in this situation, you almost have to pitch like there's no one on base. That run really doesn't mean anything with the lead they've got. The hitter is the guy that can turn this game on its head. Here comes the 2-0 pitch. Swing and a miss on the heater, and it's 2-1. He knows full well he's sitting on a hat trick right here. All he's trying to do is avoid the golden sombrero. The 2-1. There's a fastball that misses. Down to 3-1. And that one is a cold strike as he's rebounded to run it full now, three and two. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. One out and a runner on second base. Swing and a liner. But good hands over there at first, and that becomes out number two. The catcher, number two, Tom Murphy. Now with the play, Tom Murphy, and he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. First offering on its way. 
Four. And that misses inside 1 and 0. Oh. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Eight. Fastball and that thing got up there at 95 miles an hour a ball and a strike. And it's fouled away. Crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. And this ball's in the air to left field, and this should do it. He brings it in, and the Yankees have run their winning streak to five in a row now as this ball game is over. Well, just another day at the office for these guys. That stretches their winning streak to five, and they're playing well in all three phases of the game. Pitching, fielding, and hitting. Who knows how long this will last. Five to one, the final total in today's game. New York used a nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never gave it back. Garrett Cole earns win number seven on the season, turning in eight and a third of quality work. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.